Hi again. Uh, we're going to continue with this simple building and we're now going to put in some doors and windows on the level zero plan. So I basically work on this plan for the rest of this session anyway. Okay, we've finished adding curtain walls here, so effectively they're a wall type. So we'll look at the smaller elements now, like doors. So I want to add a door here to get into the building. So I go to architecture ribbon, door, and there's not many doors to, to choose from as, as the software is loaded. We've got solid external door, double door, and a, an internal single uh, solid door. So not really the kind of doors I want for this building. So what I need to do is, is edit type and load a new door type. I'll just pull the menu in here. Okay, so I'm just going with the stuff that came with the software. I'm not got not got any other stuff to, to get into to get an ad just yet. So double click doors, the doors folder. This will be an external door. And I'm going to use this concept external double RFA. So that's a Revit family RFA. Okay, so a simple glass door, doesn't appear to have any ironmongery on it, but uh, not too worried just now. So I'll open that. That doesn't have any subtypes, you know, any and any other members of its family. It's just the one type of door. I've, I can still modify this if I want to, but uh, I'm just going to use it as is. So OK. So you see it's a kind of a no entry symbol until you go over a door when it springs to springs to life and gives you the the option of placement okay depending on where you move on the wall depends which side it's flipped but that can be flipped afterwards it doesn't have to be chosen correctly straight away so I'm gonna have my door opening outwards uh, just so that the wind kind of keeps my doors shut so I'll place the door there okay I'm not too worried about the position just yet I'm going to tidy that up in a second okay I'm gonna place a second of that type of door actually on the axis here so where the where the axis line cuts through the back wall I get a fairly definite position okay the detailing here is a wee bit bizarre we've got plaster keeping the weather out hmm okay I'm sure that can be modified afterwards okay so that's my external doors uh, I'm now going to add an internal door here so I don't want these solid ones, I'll, I'll try and find a glass door that's for internal use. So edit type, load, doors, internal doors. And I've got the concept internal double. So fairly simple, similar looking, but this one will fit into partitions. And open. Similar to the last one, it doesn't have any other family members, so that's okay. Okay, and this door, I'll have it opening this way into the main office. And place it. Right, I'd like these doors to be in line with each other. So to do that, I'm going to add a couple of temporary dimensions. I want them aligned. So annotate ribbon, align dimension. And I can dimension from the middle of the door to the grid line that I've got in the wall. Okay, the dimensions show up tiny, that's okay. Okay, while we're there, add another dimension on this side. And I can see already that they're not in line with each other. Okay, take that to the grid line. And choose a position for the dimension line. And then get your modify tool, click on the door. That reveals the distance away from the grid line, and let's say it's 1700. I would do the same with this door, make it 1700. Okay, now I know this is supposed to be a brick building, so you'd actually do things much more carefully here with brick sizing, but we're just trying to get used to the software here, not doing much, uh, you know, it's not going to be an absolutely correct architecturally. 
Okay, the two dimensions have done their job. Don't need to keep those. I've just got the doors in line. I'm happy with that. And what I'll do now is just flip these big doors over to the other side. So hold control, grab the second door, get your mirror pick axis tool. Okay, if you held control, you would lose the originals. Okay, so don't keep holding control. Just pick axis, pick the axis, the doors flip over, and that's tidy. Okay, now we'll put some internal doors in here. So we'll go back to architecture ribbon, door, and I need to load the door again. So this will be a single doors this time instead of double doors. Okay, doors folder, internal doors, and I've got the concept internal single RFA. And open, and OK. And not too worried about placement here, um, just roughly in this middle of that wall panel. Okay, I'll place a door in this corridor. So there's a good distance away from from the right hand wall there, that's what you'd expect for disability access. Okay, here I'll place the door a bit more accurately. I'm wanting the door to be 300 millimeters away from the wall, but with opening so it gets some privacy in the room. Okay, same on this side. Press your space bar, you can flip the orientation of the door, but that can be done afterwards as well using these little markers. Okay, and then a third door down here, 300 millimeters away from the wall. Okay, it looks good. Then get my modify tool, pick these two doors, hold control, get mirror, pick axis, click the axis, and we've got the doors on the other side. So, nice and quick. All that detailing work done, doesn't have to be drawn laboriously. Windows next. So, architecture, window. Okay, I'll, I'm going to edit the type for this one. I want to use a single, single plane window, but a much bigger one. This is tiny, 630 by uh, 1050, so it's a bit small. So, edit type. I'll duplicate that window and I'm going to make this fairly big so I want 1500 wide by let's have uh, so it's 1500 wide, let's have it 1350 deep and I don't need the number 2 at the end and ok so I've got my widths, my rough width and rough height I can change those, so it was 1500 and 1350 and OK. Just before I place it, I want to check the window head height. So at the moment, it's a wee bit high. Uh, cell height's a wee bit high there. So let's let's put the head height at 2100. OK, that brings the cell height down accordingly. OK, and now I can go over the wall and place my window. I'm just going to place this roughly in that place. Okay, now this window is actually facing the wrong way. The, where the little overlap occurs here, that's indicating that this is the wooden or plastic internal window sill. So we need to modify that and flip the window the other way. Okay, now there's a bit of strange detailing going on here, not the way we would do things in Scotland, but Let's just run with it. So we're just getting the use, just getting the feel of the software. Okay, now I want to put a little set of windows along here and link them together so that when I when I adjust them, they move all together. I'm not going to group these. I'm just going to place them and, and kind of link the dimensions to each one. So it's a window I want to load, and let's go for something out of the ordinary. So edit type load I'm going to look for windows now so at the very bottom folder double click and I'm looking for a window called an Oriel window okay so it has two windows effectively 
a little triangular roof. Okay, click open. It's a neat little feature, looks great on plan. Okay, now this one you can see has got sub sub members of the family. So it's got six different sizes. You know, if I only wanted one of those sizes, then I can just take one. If I want more of them, I can hold control or do shift and select like that. Okay, so let's just take them all in just now, may as well. And okay. Takes a few seconds, it's pulling in quite a few models there in reality. Okay, click OK. Okay, so it's pulled in the family of the Oreo windows. Let's choose the biggest of the bunch, which is the uh, 1200 by 1800. And somebody could actually stand up in that window. It's that big. And zoom in near the corner here. Uh, pressing the space bar will flip the window to the other side. I'm going to place it fairly near the corner. Okay, and I want to place another window. 1800 millimeters away so I'll zoom out a wee bit so it gets the gets the numbers easier to to work with so 1800 there and then a third one 1800 away and the final one another 1800 away okay I'll get my modify tool now I want to try and link these together so there's there's a dimension already in here between from one window to the other. So I click this window, the dimension appears. Click this icon to make it a permanent dimension. Click the dimension line and then lock it. So it stays 1800 away. I'm just moving the dimension line a wee bit nearer the, the wall. Okay, so we do that another two times. Click the next window, make the dimension permanent click the line, lock the dimension and you can reposition that and it will line up with the other dimension line which is nice and tidy and then the final one to do it on make the dimension permanent, click the line click lock and adjust the dimension line okay so they're all together now so if I move one of them you see all, the, all of them go together so they're not grouped so don't get any of that complication, they're just linked together with the spacing. Okay, so how far away from the corner do I want to go? So I need to add a dimension myself here. So annotate, aligned. If I move here, it picks up on the edge of the opening. And this one's a wee bit vague, and I'm going to zoom in quite far. It's virtually impossible to see on the screen but if I, if I go to this corner a very small blue dot appears okay there we go if I zoom right in we can see the blue dot okay so it is picking up on the corner of the wall Ooh, huge okay let's zoom out now okay so we've got our dimension aligned with the wall I'm not locking this one because this is the one I want to change so I'm getting modify it's the window that you're repositioning not you're not changing the dimension you're changing the position of the window so you click the window and then you can experiment with different dimensions here okay so let's see what happens if I say I want it 1500 millimeters I get a bit of a nasty collision there too close so let's say 1200 still a bit too close I think 1000 would be fine so very easy then to just slide these around to get them where you want them. Okay, so we've got this kind of super symmetrical building. Let's keep that running. I've selecting the windows and holding control to get all five. One, two, three, four, five. And then mirror by picking an axis. And we get those windows over to the other side. Let's have a look at the 3D view. So if I bring that into view, we can see we've got our Oreo windows and then a simple window just there. Okay, now this one's getting its window sill automatically. Now I haven't got uh, a window sill on this curtain wall yet. 
I'm going to experiment with that later on. So we'll just put it in as it is just now. Okay, so that's that rounds up, you know, absolute basics of adding some windows and doors. And uh, next stage will be to to copy the floor up one level and we join things together. Okay, we'll stop the video just there.